Okay, today we are picking the mag lock, hopefully.
Here we go. I'll just show you that. As you can see, that's now open. So I'll show you what's happened. Take that off. There's the tensioner. It has a groove which accepts this piece of wiper. Normally, the tabs on the key... Give me a second here, I'll just focus this a bit better. Normally the tabs on the key will go into here, and into here, and here, and when this isn't rotated, so back 90 degrees that way, and then those little tabs will turn that inner ring in there. Uh, to pick it instead you can put this piece of wiper in, and credit to Ark on YouTube, who has the only other video I've seen of this, for that idea. Um, and there's this which is based also on the thing he made. Uh, a couple of differences though, and the reason why I'm claiming this as a first is because, and um, by his own admission, he didn't get any feedback from the lock, and he basically had to exhaustively try all combinations. Um, I was able to get pretty decent feedback from this lock. If you listen carefully, there is um, decent feedback in all four... Uh, chambers, so I, I, I don't know, I mean, maybe I was doing something differently to him, I'm not sure, but yeah, you can hear it, uh, they jiggle when they're set, or when they're not binding, and when they're binding, of course, there's no jiggle, and you, you can definitely uh, discern that in my experience. Anyway, uh, so that's open. Now, you can gut this to an extent, you can take out the core, and you can, I, I believe, I looked at it, it looks like there are tiny grub screws that you can undo. I'm not doing that. Um, even though I'm claiming this as a first, I'm not going to do that, because this is a really, really rare lock. It's probably the rarest lock I have. Um, there is no way I'm going to risk damaging this or anything, because this is a complete unicorn lock, especially the padlock. Um, anyway, to relock this... Uh, it's key retaining. This will not let you... You can't just turn it back. It's not going to let me do that. So you have to put the shackle back in. What I'll, I'll just hold, put that in there just so that it doesn't spring back on us. Shackle's got to go back in. And that immediately puts a lot of force on this wanting to turn it back. So that's where he locks now. You can see that's that's as far as it goes when it's... Um, I'll see if I can show you it like a bit rotated. There, you can see it's like it springs back a little bit, but you can see that it, it rotates a little bit with this thing. So I'll just put that back at zero. Get that little thing out of there. There we go. That's the keyway. That's the key. Lock still works. Oh, you got to watch that. It really forcibly goes back again. I've got another key here for it as well. It's two keys. Came with a cute little key tag. Key code on there. This key works as well, of course. This is a beautiful lock. It's probably one of my favorite locks that I own. Now, and um, yeah, so that's the mag lock. I will link uh, in the description, if I remember, uh, some pictures of the inside of what these look like. And yeah. They're pretty cool. Um, so there we go, that's the mag lock. And this is the padlock of the mag lock. Padlock version. I'll just put that over there. I will show you something cool as well. Got a piece of magnetic viewing film here. Here's the key. Now I've put these little dots on it just to show me where the where the poles and on the key actually are. But if you put it here, there we go. So that's what it looks like. And as you can see that's exactly where I've put them. And there's two, the two big dots are North Poles, I believe, and the two small ones are South Poles. So there we go. There are four magnets, I think, in here. I'm not going to rip the key apart to check, but yeah. Alright. Well, that is the mag lock. 
Uh, I've picked that, and uh, I believe that's a first of picking it where you're actually see where I was actually single pin picking it rather than just uh, putting them all in like a makeup key and trying the combination like the other video. Uh, n no shade to Ark, of course. I'm very grateful to him uh, for publishing that video since it gave me the idea for the tensioner. So he gets credit for that, definitely. I, I, I modelled this myself, but it's it's pretty much based on what his design looked like. And same same with the little wiper thing. So big thanks to him. Um, but yeah, this is to be fair. This is probably the first video of this actually being single pin picked. Um, with feedback and everything. I don't know if you could hear the feedback. I have a fan here, so it's 33 degrees today. I'm not turning the fan off, but yeah, um, there is very small clicking. If you put a microphone on this, you'll be able to hear it super easily. Um, definite feedback. Uh, I could definitely differentiate between um, binding and uh, non-binding uh, rotors. Or, they're not really rotors. Um, very interesting, very unique. Um, design of the uh, the pins inside this lock. Uh, just ping me on Discord or something and I'll be happy to uh, show you pictures of what this looks like and that sort of thing. Anyway, um, yes, that's the mag lock. Thanks for watching.